my partying increased. I started to do all kinds of crazy substances and all kinds of had all these kinds of um, crazy experiences and things like that. And suddenly something just flipped in my mind. Something just flipped in my mind. And suddenly I just thought, do you know what? Sod it. To hell with all of this. I am going to attempt a thought experiment. And the thought experiment is going to be, I'm just going to act as if I am the man. Okay. I'm just going to act as if I am the hero of, of my story. Okay. When I go out and I don't really, I don't really care very much what happens. All right. I don't care really very much how people react to that. Okay. People may react well, people may react badly. I don't really mind. I'm just going to go and do it anyway. Okay. I just made that decision. I just made that decision. That's what I was going to do. So I started to go out and I started to dress differently. You know, I, before I've been very, I hadn't really paid a lot of attention to how I dressed because I thought dressing in a cool way or dressing in a, uh, a way that would draw attention to you was only for the cool people, only for the cool kids. Okay. I thought I can't do that because I'm not one of the cool kids. So I never paid much attention to that. I started to dress differently. I started to dress in a more outrageous way. I started to wear things that I just thought were cool. You know, I was wearing army pants. I was wearing, I had a pink mohair jumper. I had spiky bleach blonde hair. I had crazy different shirts and things like this. I started to just wear stuff because I wanted to wear it. I mean, I wouldn't wear any of it now, don't get me wrong. But at the time, it was a statement. I was being a punky. I was being rebellious. I was sort of going against the grain. And I'd always been very self-effacing and very sort of, polite or very actually very quiet any generally but if I did talk I, I was very self-facing and very agreeable and everything in conversation overnight I stopped doing that I started to be much more confrontational I started to say it how it was to people uh and this is this is men I'm talking about mainly here um obviously women sometimes as well and I started instead of trying to avoid confrontation I actually decided to relish confrontation instead, to go headlong into confrontation. And I thought, probably what's going to happen is I'm just going to get beaten up. <laughs> you, you know, because I'm going around, I'm dressing like an idiot, uh, I'm being very confrontational and a bit of an asshole. and yeah, people aren't going to buy that, you know, I'm just going to get killed, but so what, let's try it anyway. I have, because I knew that I had to try something different, because, you know, the definition of insanity is repeating the same action over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, I realized on some level that that's what I've been doing in my life. You know, I've been repeating the same stuff and the results were nothing very much. So I knew I had to change. So I started to behave in this different way. I started to dress differently and I started, as I say, to, to become confrontational instead of avoiding confrontation. Okay, what happened? Well, a few things happened. Um, surprisingly, far from getting beaten up or attacked or whatever immediately, which is what I thought would happen, generally speaking, people went along with my new persona. And I think the reason for that is basically because other people as well are non-confrontational. Remember that thing in Fight Club where they send out the guys... And they say you have to go and start a fight and they find it really difficult to start a fight because most people are avoidant of that, you know, understandably. Well, it's the same, not talking about a physical fight, but it's the same in terms of being a bit spiky, a bit confrontational. You think that a lot of people can react harshly to that. Actually, they, they tend not to because most other people are non-confrontational as well. So that was fine. And people actually found me quite sort of entertaining and quite interesting. And it actually made me more popular in a way because I find I had a personality you know whereas before I'd hidden my personality so there was that um and the other thing that happened was that um I started to get women interested in me and I actually got my first girlfriend as a result as a direct result of these behaviors because before that I uh as James Tusk would say I couldn't pull a muscle and then as a direct result of basically 
having the balls to stand out a bit more, having the balls to be the hero in my, my own story. I got my first girlfriend 